Happening today, maybe you thought that you would never see <laughs> these two again. Today, though, your dream comes true. The llamas, made famous for their escape in Sun City, are back on display. Yes, ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez joining us live from <laughs> Turf Paradise. And uh, Allison, how do people get out there to meet these two? Well, uh, there's going to be a great event for them to to do that, and I'll tell you guys about that in just a second. But first, <laughs> I want to show you, they are probably arguably the most famous llamas you've ever heard of, and you probably will ever hear of. We're talking about Kanita and Lainey there, who you see. Yeah, they were the ones who led authorities yeah, on that hours-long chase. My goodness, it was hard to, to get them uh, back <laughs> with you guys here. Uh, I've got Karen Friend, uh, who is one of the groomers, owners. You do it all, you were saying. Uh, <laughs> woman of many trades. Um, let me ask you, why did you guys decide to bring them out for people to meet? Um, the track called and asked if we would bring them out because camels, um, the llamas are part of the camelid family, so they're going to cheer on their cousins in that's, the races. That's right, and you're talking about the camel and ostrich races uh, going on tomorrow right here at Turf Paradise. Uh, doors are going to open at 11 a.m., and they can see uh, them until what time? 3 o'clock. They'll have them here? Yes. Okay, so um, what are people going to need to do? Are they going to get to feed them at all or do anything or just get to see them? They'll be in the pen like this, and we probably won't have them tied up. So if the llamas come over to them, they can pet them. But for okay. the most part, they can take pictures yeah. with them. Perfect. And I think that will be a popular attraction yes. here uh, at Turf Paradise. That's the latest, guys. Alison Rodriguez, ABC 15 News.